The Memphis Tigers hosting Stephen F. Austin today in a makeup game from an earlier cancellation. A midseason FCS matchup can be hard to get excited for, but it can also be a big boost to set the Tigers up for the rest of the season. The first half, also a little closer than you'd want it. 7 nothing in the first quarter, and Brady White hits Taj Washington on the slant, and he takes off, and he is gone. So much speed in this Memphis receiving core. He punches it in for a six, and with that, White holds the record for most touchdown passes at Memphis with 82. Second quarter, different story. Brady White throwing a pick six right to Brevin Randall and returns it 30 yards for the touchdown. A one possession game, 2014 game at half. Second half, Tigers on the one yard line and White sneaks it in. They decide to go for the two point conversion and they get crafty. A little flea flicker action. Calvin Austin with the ball. Looks like he's going to run it in. Then he pulls up for a little lob pass to Sean Dykes. Austin, a Swiss army knife. He can do it all because watch this. SFA punting it away. I don't know why you would really punt it to Calvin Austin, but he says, thank you, sir. And he returns the punt 64 yards for a touchdown. The Tigers go up 35 14 with that play. They pull away and go on to win 56 to 14. Wasn't always pretty. Uh, it never is. I knew they'd all be hard. Um, the ups and downs of a game, the adversity of a game. Uh, but at the end of the day, found a way to come out victorious. Um, and that's all that matters. You know, is there a lot to work on? Absolutely. Like I said, it 100% starts with me. Got to find ways to continue to do things. Calvin Austin, a player who does continue to find a way to shine. He sets a new school record, five straight 100 plus receiving yard games, passing Anthony Miller. Penny Hardaway and Tigers basketball getting a big break today. Freshman center Musa Cisse has been declared immediately eligible by the NCAA. That means when the Tigers tip off at the Crossover Classic on Wednesday, he will be able to suit up. In the middle of the week, Hardaway said he'd been cleared to practice, but they were still waiting on his eligibility on this season. He was confident it would be cleared up before Wednesday's game, and Cisse will be good to go. He averaged 18.4 points, 15.3 rebounds, and 9.2 blocks per game last year at Lausanne. The Tigers still waiting on DeAndre Williams' transfer waiver.